Hello everyone, my name is Shambhu. We hope you all are doing well. So, uh, right away we finished up the statistics for data science, right? We did cover up all the respective uh, important things regarding uh, the like statistics and data science, right? So further from today, we are going to start up the probability for data science. Okay, now that's the second most important topic that you should have uh, the knowledge of uh, when you are dealing with the uh, data science, okay? So I'll be starting up with the probability for today. So first of all, we'll be learning about all of the terminologies which are very much important for you to understand that what does these terms actually mean and what do these terms actually refer to. And further, you could learn up the different different rules and the all sort of things. Okay. So hope I'm pretty much clear with this particular thing to you all. And further, I could now proceed up from this particular place, starting with the probability for data science. Okay. Um, great cycle has put up a topic here for our respective knowledge. So it's probability, uh, probability, B I L I T Y, probability. Okay, we'll be starting this particular one right here. So, first of all, let me quickly take up a color and let me proceed on with the definition for probability that what it is actually. Okay, so probability, probability, B I L I T Y. Yeah, here we go. So probability is a measure, is a probability is a measure that is that is associated that is associated with the uh, sorry that is associated with how certain how certain we are how certain we are of of outcomes of outcomes of a particular of a particular of a particular experimental sorry experiment uh, let's get down experiment or activity or activity okay so this is what probability actually means that it is a measure that is associated with how certain we are of outcomes of a particular experiment or an activity. Okay. Now, this is what actually the probability means, right? For the, uh, the like uh, formula and all those things will be so interesting for them. I won't leave out anything uh, which is not covered up into the videos. Okay, I won't leave out anything uh, that is not there present up in the videos. But yeah, we have up a format and I'll be moving through that particular format only for the following of all of the particular things. Okay, um, great. So I hope you are pretty much clear with the probability that what's that? It's a measure that is associated with how certain we are of outcomes of a particular experiment or an activity okay now what is an experiment let's talk about that particular thing so an experiment so an experiment is a an experiment is a planned an experiment is a planned operation it's a planned operation uh it's a planned operation carried carried c double r i e d carried out carried out under controlled conditions under controlled conditions under under controlled conditions okay so what an experiment is it's a planned operation that is carried out under controlled conditions okay this is what uh, we actually meant out uh, from an experiment okay pretty much clear i guess um further what happens up in the experiment only so uh, whatever the result you are having if the result is not predetermined okay if the result is not predetermined means that if the result whatever you are having you haven't determined uh, that previously so then it is said that the experiment is said to be a chance experiment okay if the result is not predetermined so in that case we say that the experiment is a chance experiment okay chance c h a and c e okay great 
and uh, if i take up an example of a chance experiment so flipping of a fair coin twice you can say that that's an example uh, for the chance experiment okay okay one second let me get here and let me quickly put that down only because yeah i can say it's an important part as well to be covered up right i could write up in a very short manner okay so if our result if our result is not predetermined predetermined if a result is pre d e t e r m i n e t okay if a result is not predetermined then uh then the experiment then the experiment is said to be is said to be is said to be a chance experiment is said to be a chance experiment okay so yeah uh, if there's an experiment and that is uh, actually not predetermined then the experiment is said to be a chance experiment example for that would be flipping a fair coin twice okay flipping one fair coin twice is an example of this experiment of an experiment actually okay um great now what do we meant out by outcome a new term introduced up here what is an outcome so the result the result of and the result of an experiment so the result of an experiment is called is called an outcome okay so the result of an experiment is called an outcome okay so whatever the result of an experiment you are getting so if we, if we say that about so that is meant as an outcome okay and what is a sample space so a sample space a sample space is a sample space is a set of all possible is a set of all possible outcomes out comes okay so a sample space is a set of all possible outcomes whatever the possible outcomes are there for any of the respective experiment so that we term up as a sample space okay great so uh in total there are three ways for representing a sample space okay in there there are total three ways for representing up a sample space so uh for listing up the possible outcomes there are in total three ways to represent up a sample space okay so um to create a tree diagram or to create a venn diagram okay so into that case uh like you have you are actually having up there are ways to represent the sample space uh add to the list the possible outcomes to create a venn tree diagram or to create up a venn diagram these three are the methods okay so that is the respective thing okay um okay so what is the denotation for use for uh, denoting up the sample space so capital s whenever you find out writing up capital s so capital s is used capital s is used to denote the sample to denote the sample space okay capital s is the respective term which is used out for the denotation of the sample space okay like the example could be that uh, if you flip one fair coin okay if you flip a one fair coin that is s and into the into that okay you have head and tails okay s will be your sample space and head, head and tails will be the outcome start you will be getting so into that h will be the uh head and t will be the tail of the outcomes which will be coming as a output for you okay so uh hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you that what is a sample is space right here for let me get back yeah what's the probability what an experiment what is an outcome and what is a sample space let me quickly check up a highlighter here uh let me highlight out the respective and the important terms which you have up here okay 
one second let me take a little thicker one mm, okay so right away we discussed about first of all probability right that what is that particular thing we discussed about this respective thing right in the very first in the starting okay further i took you to that what is an experiment what do we meant by an experiment okay this was the thing which we discussed then further i told you about a chance experiment a type of experiment which we have that is a chance experiment i told you about that particular thing as well right then we discussed about that what's an outcome so we saw that the result of an experiment is called as an outcome and further i discussed with you that what is a sample space okay so yeah great these were the few topics which we discussed which we saw up the definition in this respective video further in the next video i'll be taking you towards some more uh, terminologies which are very much important for you to understand when you are moving ahead with the probability for data science right so hope i am pretty much clear with these particular things to you so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care